planes took off from a small landing strip outside Senin on Sunday morning at half past ten. Both were bound for Rand Airport near Germiston. Three hours later, they were reported missing. This morning, a police chopper spotted the wreckage 40 kilometers from Tanin on Mamutsuri Peak in the Lakalamietsi Mountains. The crash site is at an altitude of 1,570 meters. After a grueling search, the worst fears realized. Hidden within these mountainous peaks, the mangled remains of wreckage. Apparently the planes were flying at low altitude and they then uh, um, apparently um, hit a, a mountain uh, simultaneously. So they were uh, flying uh, 200 meters away. Bad weather over the past two days hampered search efforts. It's believed the planes were flying in formation when they crashed into a cliff. All 13 passengers died on impact. No distress signal or mayday was sent out. The scene of the crash located on the last radar recording. What we do know is that they were required to file in a flight plan because they are going to a manned airport which is rent. And Zanin airport is not manned. Among the victims, pilots, their wives and retired Air Force members a renowned Johannesburg aviation photographer and two children also perished. Investigators have collected evidence for testing. Over the next few days, they'll comb the scene for more clues to recreate the crash. Gillian Pillay, SABC News. Let's take a quick look at recent plane crashes. Last year, there were 147 civil aviation accidents that claimed 24 lives. This year has already seen 67 accidents and 30 fatalities, including the Tanin tragedy.